Thanks to the Crown Shark Scramble event, I went from 1,532 crowns to 3,589 crowns. That means I went from not having the full Golden Wolf to having the full Golden Dragon. Now, I'm not the kind of player to grind this game in order to move up in the crown ranks, but whenever I'm aware of an exploitable farming method, best believe I'm gonna take advantage of that. As a matter of fact, the only times I've ever grinded for crowns in this game were during bugs or exploits. Let me give you some examples. On July 2nd, 2021, Fall Guys featured a show called Hoverboarding Time. It was three rounds of Hoverboard Heroes, with the final also taking place in Hoverboard Heroes. However, there was a bug, and anyone who qualified in the third round would get a crown. Because of this, when you qualified, the camera would glitch out and you would have to wait for everyone else to either die or qualify. Anyway, this was very short lived as it was patched the very next day. On December 9th, 2021, Fall Guys held a Double Crowns event to celebrate their appearance in the Game Awards 2021. However, Game Awards 2021 was not the only thing happening on December 9th. On December 9th of that year, Fall Guys introduced a show called Extreme Squads. When Extreme Squads first came out, the show rewarded you 2 crowns for winning. But, since this coincided with the Double Crowns event, it meant that winning an Extreme Squads would reward you 4 crowns. And if that wasn't exploitable enough, there was a bug going on where if one person disconnected, disconnected. or left during the final, then all the remaining teams in the final would win. So, to guarantee a win, people would assign someone from their squad to purposely back out in order to benefit everyone else. On March 8th, 2022, Fall Guys added a show called Sweet Thieves, and the reward for winning was 15 shards. What was great about this was that every round of Sweet Thieves lasted 3 minutes or less. So assuming you were winning every game, that was about 15 shards every 4-5 to five minutes if you include all the loading time. This was crazy at the time, but there's more to it. People figured out that if they changed their server to a much more dead region, and also turned off crossplay, then there would be a possibility that when the game started, the round would end right away. So that was an easy 15 shards right there. 15 shards for 3 minutes or less of gameplay was crazy back then. So on the second day of Sweet Thieves being out, Mediatonic nerfed the reward from 15 shards to 10 shards. Aww. So now let's fast forward to June 3rd, 2023 to the most recent Crown Shard Scramble event. During this event, every time you reached a final, you earned 15 shards, and every time you won a show, you earned 30 shards. Here's where it got interesting. People realized that you could complete these challenges quickly by playing any of the creator-made rounds. This was because 1. These creator-made rounds only lasted one round, which meant that you were automatically in the final. And 2. The rounds allowed for multiple winners, so it didn't matter if you qualified first or last. As long as you qualified before the timer ran out, you were considered a winner. These rounds were over in 2 minutes or less depending on how fast people qualified, but still, 50 shards for 2 minutes or less of gameplay is an insane amount, which is why people started to exploit this. Alright people, let's do this one last time. On day 1, I decided to give Trouble Tower a chance, and at first I was struggling a lot. What? Oh shit! One time I accidentally landed on the side of the finish line. And one time I also got hit off the side of the finish line. Oh shit, oh shit! What the fuck? At one point I also crashed a group photo. Little family meeting over here, excuse me. Oh my gosh, don't mind if I do. And of course the inevitable happened. I got into games with AFK farmers. Oh brother, this guy stinks! It started with one, then two. <laughs> then three. Ah, the slap the shit out you! I unlocked Coral Fate and ended off day 1 with 1,632 crowns, which was 100 more than I started with. On day 2, I still only did Trouble Tower, but this time, I started to get recognized. You look familiar. Don't I know you from somewhere? Couldn't sworn I've seen you someplace before. Hello? 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 Hello. 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 I also set up a spin the wheel with challenges which people could activate by super chatting $2. One of the challenges I ended up getting was stay AFK until the last 30 seconds. 
And if that wasn't hard enough, people from my stream decided to push me all the way to the back with spawn, which meant I was going to need a perfect run if I wanted any chance at qualifying. Nah, y'all really took me to the corner. Bro, y'all better go qualify. 31, 30, watch out. Yo, no, nah, Mag, don't be weird. Okay, I got double pop, perfect. I get out of here, get out of here. I'm gonna have to pull off all the skits right now. Tyler, you better not pants me. I feel like you are trying to, though. Okay, Tyler's gonna try to qualify on their own. No, I'm not gonna make it. With 12 seconds left? I just know something bad is going to happen. No, I messed up the... Five, four. Nah, I didn't make it. Oh! <laughs> Bro, I messed up because y'all sent me all the way to the back of spawn. I would have made it if y'all didn't do that. That's funny though. Anyway, I unlocked Golden Wolf and ended day two with 1,796 crowns. On day three, I once again only played Trouble Tower. And once again, I was recognized. I seen you from over there, my boy. I saw someone wearing one of the rarest combinations. I joined some beans that were hanging out in a very weird spot. What's going on here? Just hanging around. <laughs> Life like this sure is sweet, huh? It definitely is. I got into a game with someone with the longest name I've ever seen. I queued up into games where I made up half the lobby. I unlocked Regal Pattern. I queued up into a game 20 seconds before Trouble Tower would be replaced. I emoted one last time at spawn, qualified, got my 50 shards, and ended off the Trouble Tower grind with 1,954 crowns. On day 4, we got new creator made rounds. However, Mediatonic was aware of all the crown farming going on, so they decided that the new creator made rounds would only allow for one winner instead of multiple winners. A lot of people, including myself, were instantly put off by this. So on the first day of these maps being out, I didn't really play them. However, the next morning, I saw a lot of tweets and videos explaining how these new single winner rounds were even better for farming crowns. The main reason was because these rounds awarded one crown instead of five shards. So if you won in one of these rounds, you would get one crown and 45 shards. That is almost two crowns per win. This got me interested again. So I gave these maps a shot and after playing them for a while, I decided that Floorless was the easiest and fastest map to qualify in. I ended up playing this map over a thousand times, so over time I ended up getting pretty good at speedrunning it. But so did other people. So if you weren't good at speedrunning this map, you were most likely not gonna win. But if you were good at speedrunning this map, then you would just have to be luckier than the other speedrunners. So that's how the Floorless grind went. Sometimes you were lucky. Oh, they got lucky. Oh, never mind. They got unlucky. <laughs> they try to grab me. Nah, that's what they get. And sometimes you were unlucky. No! Anyway, after a few days, I decided to make my bean look like Miles Morales. And I feel like this skin gave me superpowers. I mean, look at this. Oh, shit. Nah, I'm just playing. I found out that I could indeed be stuck. Can't stop me now. No. Okay, let's do this one last time, yeah? Can't stop me now. 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 Sometimes something crazy would happen, like tying with someone. Can't stop me now. Wait. Bro, we just tied. What? I said I got we you tied. Now. I found qualified. Anyway, thanks to Floorless, I was able to unlock the Regal Purple Color, the Rosette Banner, the Tiger Stripes Pattern, the Born Stormer Nickname, the Abstract Pattern, the Golden Knight Bottom, the Golden Banner, the Golden Knight Top, the Golden Dragon Bottom, and last but definitely not least, the Golden Dragon Top. How does that feel? It's good, it's good. The job is done, you can go home now. <laughs> look around, look around you. Look at this. We created this. This didn't exist before we were I earned more crowns in 9 days than I did in almost 3 years of playing. Now that is crazy. 